well, Toastmasters. When I first joined Toastmasters in 1998, I had no idea what effect this organization would have on my life. I had no idea how many friends I would make, how many speeches I would give or try to give, or how many people's lives would touch mine or I would touch theirs. Well, at Toastmasters in 1998, I joined Toastmasters for a selfish reason to become a better speaker. Have I accomplished that? I would like to say yes, but what I found out with Toastmasters was they had another track called the Leadership Track. And I chose that avenue to make Toastmasters stronger for me. I found that I was among a lot of very established speakers who would lead me into a better world of speaking. I will pick two speakers, although I could probably pick anyone in this room to appreciate and thank for the years of experience I've had. I'm gonna start with Mike Sullins because he was, the pre he was actually not the president of my club, but when Russ uh, Gronard and I joined Toastmasters in 1998, he immediately became our mentor. He showed us what Toastmaster could be, what it would do for us, and what we could do for it. He's always the behind the man, the behind the scenes man that encourages everybody. And I learned, Chris, how to encourage people from that mentor. He never wants credit for anything he does. We recently saw him receive an award at the District 39 conference, but he taught me how to lead with dignity and kind of be really quiet about it. My own goal of cheerleading and <laughs> encouraging people to go on was <clears throat> my addition to them. Somehow when you get into an organization, you always see that things can be a little bit better if you help. And I'm, I know everybody in this room has stepped forward and helped build the, the District 39 Division A that we have today, the past Division B. When I took the leadership role as the area governor, it was because I wanted to help the clubs in the area do a better job of finding out what was going on in the division and in the district. It was very easy for me to know what they needed to know because I'd been struggling to find out what was going on for the years that I'd been involved with it. A lot of it is the training, the leadership that we spread and share with the other Toastmasters. And when I was finishing being the Area 21 governor, it, it occurred to me that I had to take it to the next step. I had to become a division governor to help encourage what we had already planted into to the minds of all the Toastmasters in that area. In order to do that, I needed a really strong team. And of course, Mike, in his sweet way, said he'd only help me if I had a strong team. So <laughs> he'd been an area governor years before and he wasn't really w willing to step back into those shoes. But he would for me if I could come up with some good leaders that could help build Division B at that time into the division that we enjoy today. I know a lot of you were not Toastmasters back in 2003 when I first became Division B governor, but <laughs> our own John Davis was one of our area governors that encouraged Mike to go ahead and wear area governor pin again. Geneva Arnold was our Carson City area governor, and um, Mitch Fleschner, I never get that name, was another area governor here in town. Those four area governors, along with our chief judge, Charlie Morris. Does that name sound familiar? Mm -hmm. These are old established Toastmasters that had been on one side of the um, fence and were willing to step into that limelight and take over the responsibility of, of the work that we had in front of us. We never looked back. Those four and five leaders 
have brought us up to where we are today. We just continue to grow and excel until each one of them took another role and, and brought on more people. And, and as a leader in Division A, and as leaders in this room, we all know that we're building leaders constantly. And the only way that we're gonna get out of our job is we build more leaders. Unfortunately, sometimes we just continue with the same faces, doing the same jobs, and we wanna build more people in, to bring them into the fold. So when our own Chris Pearson, thank you for this lovely award, <laughs> decided that she would step forward as the Area 11 governor, I couldn't be more happy or more proud. And part of it is just a learning curve. I may not be the best speaker in Division A, I may not be the best humor speaker for sure, or an international speaker like a couple of the members here have gone forward to, but I do have that love and that concern and the willingness to help every member get what they need to accomplish, to walk away from Toastmasters being proud, have fun, and enjoy their experience. So I accept this award. I will enjoy it later. <laughs> I appreciate that you remembered me today and maybe tomorrow I can pass this on to the next division, a governor, fellow Toastmasters.